Look at a part two here of the 8.6 introduction. This is day one of this lesson. What I want you to do is take out your calculator. Make sure you have your calculator handy. Make sure it's all cleared out. And let's go to Y1. And let's uh, put in 1 over X. So what I'd like you to do with this, now that you have 1 over X into Y1, is I'd like you to go to table. And let's put the table set up on ask. We've done this before, yes? You go to second window, and you just make sure that the independent is on app. The table start and the table change doesn't matter. They do not matter. Just make sure that independent is on app. Okay? Uh, after you do that, when you go to second graph, you should now have the ability to put in any number you want for x to find y. And I'm asking you on this chart, on your note sheet, to plug in negative 1, negative 0.5, negative 0.1, and so on. One of them might give you an error, and I want you to think about why. So all we're doing here is we're seeing what happens when we plug in negative 1. Negative 0.5. Negative 0.1. 0. Why the error? Yeah, what's happening here is we're putting in the input. And what if the input is 0? You can't divide by 0. So you're not going to get an answer then. You can't divide by frowny face. So we get negative 1, negative 2, negative 10, and then undefined. You can use that symbol for undefined. It's a 0 with a slash through it. If you wrote error, that's fine, but this is the math one of the mathematical symbols for undefined. So what would happen if you put in negative 0 0.01 or negative 0 0.001 or negative 0 0.000001? The y's are going to get bigger, but in a negative fashion, right? Like put it. Go ahead. Try putting in negative point. Zero, 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 one. It gives you negative one E five. That's negative one hundred thousand. Did you know that if you put the cursor on the item, it'll tell you what it equals down there? Now you do. Okay? So uh, what's happening here is this part of the graph is what's happening. This part of your parent function is what's happening right now. As the x's get closer to 0 from the left, the y's drop down into the big time negative. What happens on the other side of the error? On the other side of the error approaching left, what happens to y? It's bigger and bigger and bigger. So that should be here on your table. You should have 1, 2, 10. If you put in point zero zero one, that's like putting in one one thousand. Well, one over one one thousand is one thousand, and one over one one million is one million. So what's happening there is as x gets very tiny, y gets very large. The opposite happens as x gets very large. If you haven't explored it yet. Do so on your calculator, and then come back here to fill in the chart. As x gets big, y should get small. As x gets very negative, going this way, y should get very small but negative as well. We're back, and here are the answers you should have gotten for those two tables at the bottom. Notice as x gets very large, what happens to the y's? They progressively get smaller, and as you go in the negative direction, same thing, the y's will get smaller and smaller, and we see that on the graph here, it kind of flattens out but never crosses zero, and here. So that's the shape, and this shape is known as a hyperbola. That's the name of this shape, a parabola. A parabola is when you have x squared. Hyperbola is when it's 1 over x. 
Hyperbole is from English, and that's a different speech.